Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and today we're going to give you a little introduction to multi-zones and distributed commercial audio sound systems. Uh, what we can do with multi-zoning and 70 volt systems for you. All right, so with multi-zone systems, there's a couple of different ways we can do multi-zoning, but we always have to cover some basics first. Uh, basically, these are going to be distributed 70 volt systems, whether it's a single zone or multi-zone um, and the different ways that we can zone them. Uh, what's 70 volt? We've discussed 70 volt quite a bit. Um, we've got a couple other videos out there for you to take a look at. Uh, but basically with a 70 volt system, it allows you to add lots of speakers on one wire run from an amplifier and adjust the volume independently on those individual speakers. Uh, we adjust those volumes independently with what's called a tap uh, or wattage tap setting, which is a dial on the back of the speaker, um, or sometimes it's uh, on the front under a grill, but it allows us to determine how much wattage is each speaker getting. Um, this is a 25 watt speaker with a tap up to 25 watts. Uh, this has wattage up to 5 watts. So each individual speaker has its own wattage that can be set in a distributed audio system. Anytime we're doing an audio system, we want to make sure that our amplifier has enough power and that we have adequate headroom. Approximately 20% of headroom is desired on an amplifier. Uh, so that means when we add up all of our 70 volt tap settings, we want to be um, under 20% of what the amplifier will do. So one of the easiest ways to cre create a multi-zone system with an amplifier is just to basically adjust the tap settings. Uh, with what we have here, I can kind of show you, um, I could do a restaurant sound system with a couple of speakers for the bar or for the uh, main dining area, and then a couple of small ceiling speakers in, say, the restrooms or the hallway. One way that we can make um, the experience a little bit more customized for your space and create zones is basically to set these speakers at their top tap setting of 25 watts and these in-ceiling speakers at maybe their lowest setting. That basically creates different zones, if you will, of different volume levels in, say, the main dining versus the restroom. Now, if we need additional um, adjustments beyond that, and we need to actually be able to adjust the volume even more so, we can add a whole line of in-wall or in-rack volume controls. Uh, I've added those here. Basically, volume controls allow you to wire from the amplifier to your controller, your volume control, uh, and then out to the speaker so that you can actually attenuate the wattage uh, that's going from the amplifier to the speaker itself. With volume controls, we can basically think of them a lot like dimmer knobs for lights where you run from your electrical panel to your dimmer knob out to your uh, light fixture. You adjust the volume or the, the knob on the dimmer and you lower the light or in this case volume or wattage coming out of the speaker. Lots of types of volume controls uh, beyond the in-rack or in-wall. I've got some different in-wall volume controls here. We've got key lock models, white, uh, Decora white, Decora black, stainless steel, lots of options. Just let us know what aesthetic we're going for and we can add the appropriate um, volume control to your application. So when adding volume zones to your application, we can basically just wire from the amplifier to one of these attenuators or to multiple attenuators. Uh, you can do that by doing multiple home runs from the amplifier to multiple individual attenuators, or we can actually wire from an amplifier in parallel to multiple individual um, volume controls as needed, and then connect our speakers that we want to control. That's a great way to create multiple volume zones, but we es essentially still have the same source playing in all areas. If we go back to our restaurant that we talked about earlier, uh, with a single zone mixer amplifier, we can add these additional volume zones, but all of these speakers are going to be playing the exact same source, the same music in all areas. That means if we go to page to tell table 32 that their food is ready, or if we want to say that someone's table is ready, it's going to come out of all of the speakers. Uh, that's because we only have one main uh, input zone or source zone. Um, there's a lot of different terms for that same concept, but we have multiple volume zones to give us control of the volume in those levels. Sometimes we want a true multi-zone system where we can actually play different music. Uh, thinking back to our restaurant, we play different music in the main dining and lighter, um, different music in the uh, restrooms. Or maybe we have an open ceiling area where we want to play the big game, um, or we have different music playing in that area. For a true multi-zone sound system, you need a multi-zone mixer amplifier, like our Pure Resonance Audio RZMA120BT. 
This basically has four main zone outputs, each of which that can play its own input source or any combination of input sources. That means in the case of our restaurant, we can play music at a different level in the main dining area, and that music can be totally different from, say, the music that's playing in the restroom, or perhaps we have an open ceiling area that needs a hanging pendant speaker. All three, or even a fourth zone, can have their own separate volume as well as their own separate source playing in that area. With a multi-zone mixer amplifier, you have the ability to mix and match 8 ohm speakers as well as 70 volt speakers, but it's always important to keep an eye on the tap settings and the overall headroom of those individual zones uh, for how much wattage the amplifier is going to be drawing in that different zone. You can not only output to your uh, four zones or however many zones the amplifier has available, you can also still add additional inline uh, in wall attenuators or in rack attenuators so that we can remotely control the volume of some of these individual speakers as well, even from within inside the multi-zone mixer amp system. If you have questions about what kind of system might be right for you, definitely feel free to reach out to us. Once again, I'm Nathan. Uh, give us a click to like down below or drop us a line. Let us know if there's anything we can help you with. Otherwise, uh, stay tuned until next time. Look forward to talking to you soon.